Stony Point. To the countless people who drive by every day, it probably doesn't look like much. Dirty, gritty, urban. This small state park is located just 15 miles from the Hollywood sign and oftentimes gets a bad rap for its graffiti and broken glass. But to those who climb here, it represents so much more. For over 80 years, Stony has served as a focal point where countless friendships have been made and a breeding ground where many of America's greatest climbers got their start. Today, that tradition is thriving. On any given day, a cross-section of veterans and noobs alike get together to take part in the same addiction, rock climbing. At first glance, you might not be overly impressed. and You've probably never heard of most of the guys here. But this motley crew represents one of the greatest aspects of climbing at Stony a community with centuries of combined climbing experience and an uncommon willingness to share it with others. That's what you gotta do right there. Come on. Oh, dude, that's so hard. Take Guy Kesey, for example, the unofficial ambassador of the point. He's been active in the climbing scene for 30 years and is always the first to welcome new climbers into the fold. I've been climbing here at Sony Point since 1974, Valentine's Day. We were paled off the front and learned how to belay and it was kind of fun. And I got hooked. Been coming out here ever since. I see, I've seen like whole successive waves of people come through here. And then there's some people who just, they stick with it. I guess we're just, you know, not creative enough to go do anything else and we just sort of get stuck in this rut and keep hanging out the rocks. <laughs> My wife still can't figure it out, you know, she just can't. <laughs> you go there every day, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Why not? While Guy likes to welcome new climbers with a smile and a story, Jan McCollum prefers a more traditional approach. At age 60, Jan is still one of the strongest climbers at the point, and he likes nothing more than demonstrating this to the new generation. I've been climbing here at Stony Point for about 35 or 36 years. Uh, I came to Stony Point to learn to rappel, and we got out here, we're in our hiking boots, and there were people bouldering, and we started bouldering, and somebody said, well, if you got real climbing shoes, you could probably actually be good at this. So we did. Old people boulder here, too. Two rules of Stony Point are show no weakness, show no mercy. Um, I have no idea where they came from. They've just been there forever. Um, they sort of evolved from, from the reality. My foot is up here next to my ear. 
I'm like, how the fuck did I get that up there? I can't do that anymore. <laughs> Oh, uh, really? Stony Point is where I found out about climbing, fell in love with it, became my passion in life. I came from a gymnastics background, so when I started, probably in the first uh, month, I was climbing 510. It's a lot of the same movements and, and, and application of strength and, and grace that gymnastics is, so I liked it a lot. And obviously, I've been doing it ever since. I think Stony has kind of been a little bit of a rebirth, which is nice to see. There's lots of young people out here climbing. There's people bouldering hard again. Um, it's, it's great. I don't think that I'm really the mentoring type. I'm probably a little too competitive for that. Uh, I, I enjoy shit talking too much for that, probably. Yeah. Put right foot up to where your hands are. Okay. Once you got the two hands, sit over on it. That's good. Good. Right hand. Nice. Right foot on. Oh yeah, sit on. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Oh shit. But I got it. <laughs> Damn, you, you got it. You got a chalk in the middle. You got chalk up. Oh shit. You got chalk with the right hand. I, I literally. Just... Along with Guy and Jan, a whole host of characters, both young and old, frequent Stony Point all year round. Though climbing rocks remains the number one activity here, socializing comes a close second. And while there certainly exist different cliques and crews. The vibe at the point is almost always encouraging and positive. Match hands there, kind of work your feet up, bump right hand all the way out. Okay. Now just stand all the way up and stay on the floor. Oh, nice. Some groups boulder after work during the week, while others prefer Sunday morning top rope sessions. Whatever their preference, those who climb here are continuing a tradition that dates back over 80 years. As the author of Urban Rock, Stoney's latest guidebook, Chris Owen has a special appreciation for the park's rich history. Stony Point was one of the first areas to be developed from a bouldering perspective. I mean, just by necessity, by the fact that, hey, there's these boulders here and we're going to climb them. This is a place where it's, it's been a training ground for a lot of people through the years. I mean, including some very, very eminent climbers, you know, like Royal Robbins and Von Schoenard and, you know, the Stone Masters, guys like that. It's, uh, it's absolutely steeped in history, it really is.